for the small piece of paper that carries a lot of weight for that lee, lee, mean green. Don't let money fool you. Hey, what's the science, yo? I am the mega. This is the Domega Code. As you can see, you are live on Morris Media Live right now. It is a good, good Friday. I will say it's the Friday before Easter, but since y'all don't know when Easter is, I guess I could say it's Friday before Easter. Y'all wouldn't know the difference. So let's just call this Good Friday. Hey, hey, I'm, 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 I'm timing in now to everybody. I got my people on Facebook. I got my people over here on uh, YouTube, international uh you streaming, man, it's going live right now. As y'all can see, the winner is here. Yeah, the hoodies is here. Y'all get y'all's, order y'all's. Come on now, y'all know how to do it. www.themakercode.com, you know what I mean? So, that's the science. Yo, we talking fitness, y'all, a little bit, you know what I mean? Or we can talk about it a lot. I got a, a bunch of things I'm talking about the winter workouts and different scenarios. I'm going to be telling you about that. Um, but first, let me introduce what's going on here. The Demega Code. That's me. You may be the uh, Paul Code or the Tim Code or the, the Brenda Code or Stacy Code. Or whatever code you may be, I am here to help you be a better you. All right. What I have done is combine the quality of wellness and fitness together to create completeness. You got it. You can't have one without the other. You know what I mean? All right. We're talking about my alkaline. Guess what? It's coming. I know I've been telling y'all for the longest. It's coming, though. Next week, it's fresh off the fresh off the press. So y'all can make your pre-orders now. www.themakercode.com. Or y'all can go on uh, any of the social media platforms and look around. All right. Um, we're talking about uh, Fitivational. I don't know if y'all got my... Oh, I got a new... Ebook. Let me tell you about my first one. My first one is Fitivational. Fitivational speaking. I'm talking about ease, plexity, easy movements, complex results, which I created. Everything is everything really you want is ease, plexity, easy movements, complex results. So I got a fitness division. I got a motivational speaking division. I got a clothing division. I got a water division. I got all these different divisions that goes along with ease, plexity, the Domega Code. All right. You follow me? Good. Because 2017. I'm here, y'all. So when y'all see these logos, when y'all see the Demega code, guess no. Guess what you know? Um, you in the right place. Who we got you chimed in right here? Lauren. Uh, Lauren. Lauren, what's up? What's the science, yo? I owe her $50. We bet it. Um, I should have got that bet for the New York Giants. We did win Monday Night Football, y'all. All right? Thank goodness. Thank goodness. I don't understand, though, y'all. I don't, you know, let me just get into what I'm talking about, first of all. All right, we're going to get to the fitness thing because we got some guests calling in. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we got guests calling in, and um, it's going to be dope. Um, but let's start with my thing. The Giants, baby. We won. All right. I don't know what we're going to do. All we got is Odell. <laughs> you know what I mean? If Odell go, that's it. So we got to understand how important Odell is right now. You know what I mean? ODB is as important as ODB. You know what I mean? So, I don't know what we're going to do. You know what I mean? You got to keep him healthy. You got to keep him out the way. You know what I mean? We got to, like, he can't even go outside. You know what I mean? Because, you know, you go outside and slip or something. You know what I mean? You can't really do nothing. Because you're the whole team. Cruz is out. Wait a minute. Was y'all watching the game last night? Did y'all see? Uh, gosh. What the hell is his name? It's Keisha K. It's called. It's, 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 it's pronounced K. No, it's spelled K E C. I can never pronounce the dude's name. Anyway, the dude got knocked out in the. Uh, he got knocked out in the uh, game, and he started crying. <laughs> now wait a minute, y'all. Hey, come on, man. I know pain is pain. Pain is pain. But this dude, he got hit in the chest or something. And he just started crying. I mean, like, uh, 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 you remember when you used to get a whooping when you was a kid? Uh, 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 uh. He was doing that in the middle of the field on national television, yo. And on, on, <laughs> you gotta see it. I can't, I can't, I can't describe it because y'all, y'all think I'm probably tripping. 
The dude was in the middle of the field like this. <laughs> like that, yo. <laughs> who who does this shit? Like, what? And then so, so they going over the replay, and they like, what the fuck is he crying for? You know what I mean? And they like, what was it? What was it that so, but you know, I guess, man, if you, when I saw the replay, I'm like, I, I don't see nothing that was so, you know what I mean? I don't, I didn't see nothing that was so, uh, what he was crying for. Anyway, um, who lost last night? Did Cam them lose? Damn, I, I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, Cam them lost because guess what? The Saints, uh, they, they couldn't pull it off. The Saints kind of sucked this year, though, and I don't know how Drew Brees got to be the fitness ambassador for the United States. You know what I mean? I guess you can, you know, I, I can never understand that. Hold on. This just in, I got a... Uh, 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 Notes from the control room that I should pull my mics together. Can you hear me? My mic sounds nice. Check one. My mic sounds nice. Check two. Oh, y'all want me to go old school hip hop on y'all. You know what I mean? Y'all got these little, these young boys. I don't, uh, first of all, <clears throat> I call things like they are. All right? Now, when I was growing up, see, you, you can't be politically correct anymore. But it's a mixed, it's a misdiagnosed. If you, if you, you can misdiagnose, like a lot of these kids now that's, that's rapping and, and things like that, they're like, they're not diagnosed. You know what I mean? Like, cause you can't be politically correct. Like, you know what I mean? Like, back when I was a kid, like, the same kids that's rapping and making all these money, they would be considered retarded. Like, they couldn't, Dude, what are you saying? Like, you, you're retarded. But now it's like, yo, everybody's either bipolar or autistic or, uh, uh, you know, don't fuck with this. Is that, is that a disease? Is that some type of uh, thing or something? Don't fuck with this. Don't, don't mess with me. Um, uh, yeah. Cam. Cam, y'all barely pulled that one off. All right? I don't know what's going on, Cam. Talk to me. Talk to me, man. I mean, call in or something. Let us know what's going on, man. Let us know why in all the world you decided to have a, to have a blonde beard. All right? I guess that got, you know, I don't know, Cam. Shit. I guess it's a, uh, it's a fashion statement, right? I guess. Okay, I don't know if I talked about this uh, last week. I don't think I was, because last week was Veteran Day, but they took the food from the dude. Did you hear about that, Portis? They took the food from the... the, the I'm watching this, this this thing on YouTube and, and at uh, Chili's, and they walked up to the veteran dude on Veteran's Day and said, yo, you know, you, you somebody over here, Trump supporter, said she wasn't a, a veteran, and I'm taking your food. They took the dude's food on camera. <clears throat> And Chili's want to call and apologize and all that. That's cool. However, if you saw it, you'll be like, what the fuck? Who, who does this? Like, who does this type of stuff? And then you realize, wait a minute. We're going through this thing that's called a transition. This is called a transition, a, a transition period. We're transitioning, y'all. Be careful what you are transitioning to. All right? Um... Roddy White. I don't know if y'all know Roddy White. He played for the uh he played for the Atlanta Falcons, I, I believe. He said he got stopped by the police and it could have got ugly. He could have actually died. Y'all got to Google the story because I don't know the details. However, black lives still matter, y'all. I ain't heard about the black lives people though in a minute, though. I don't know what happened. I don't know if Trump said, yo, if I hear about them black lives people, um, you know what Trump said with the riots? He said, stop it. <laughs> boy, boy, just back there laughing. That's what he said. Just stop, just stop it. Damn it. So, I guess they stopped it. I don't know. I don't. Maybe it worked because I had, I was driving downtown LA, yo, and I thought I was driving through a straight up war zone. I mean, for real. And I'm tripping because I'm like, I'm rolling, I'm smoking Kush, and I'm seeing all this. Oh, I'm seeing police on this side and that side and this side. And they got the, the thing, you know, I'm rolling. I got the the, the music bumping. And I'm, I'm like, damn, I'm rolling through all these police. And I'm blowing cushion. The windows is down, so I know they smell it. But they probably thinking, yeah, he just, yeah, you know what I mean? But, yeah, he said, stop it. 
And uh shit. That's daddy. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if y'all saw the meeting with him and uh him and Bo at the White House. Uh uh Mo and Bo met with uh <laughs> Mo and Bo met with uh old Trump and uh uh the supermodel. Uh not the supermodel. Yeah, she's the supermodel. No? She took her clothes off. She the told she, she she got her clothes off though. She got her clothes off model. See, that's what she is. Right? She got her clothes off. I seen some pictures of her neck, yo. All right. All right. Um <clears throat> Nick Gordon, he getting sued for 36 million. 36 million dollar wrongful death uh suit. I don't, I don't know who's suing him. Is it Bob suing him? Who's suing him? The estate is suing him. Oh. Okay. Well, she got an estate, y'all. That's what happens, yo. When you got an estate, you know, you gonna you gonna sue. You gonna get sued. You know what I mean? Thirty six million. I don't know where they gonna get it from. Um, cause dude probably ain't got thirty six dollars. <laughs> you know what I mean? Thirty six million. See, it be laws like that. Like you know what I mean? Like people. That's just a flex of authority. We gonna make this nigga pay thirty six million dollars. No, goddamn well he ain't got thirty six million dollars. But hey. We made an example out of him. What kind of fucking example? You ain't, he ain't got $36 million. You'd have been better off saying, hey, pay us a million dollars and then making him go, you know, get a job or something, you know, like that and make him work it off. I know I wasn't, you know, I have, I have a prior life to this. Of course, y'all gonna know if y'all don't know already because, you know, I come from the street and my transformation was into Hollywood. But I was in prison. I went to prison. I mean, prison. I don't mean the county jail. Of course, you hear that first. No, but I was in prison, in maximum security prison, y'all. And <clears throat> I know that. Damn, where was I going with this? I was going somewhere with this. Transformation is what I was talking about. Transformation. Um, so I know... How you can, you know, in the system, they got ways. To, oh, this is how I was going to tell you. I was talking about the, the Nick Gordon. They'd have been better off uh, asking dude for a million dollars and making them work for it. I was in prison, and I had to work for 17 cents an hour. That was, that, was, that, was my, that was the job back then. 17 cents an hour. That's, it, was, it was called center utility, 70, 17 cents an hour. And I was back east. So I was, my job was, was shoveling snow or some... Uh, the laundry so I know um, the importance of suffering because guess what before I was working for 17 cents an hour I was probably making about you know I was making a lot of money um, of course because of you know of what I was doing in the streets however when that stopped you know what I mean? You say, well, I ain't going to work for the white man and I ain't going to do this and I ain't going to do that. And then they make you do it. Shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, like yo, I was probably making it at the end. You know, and mind you, I was a kid. I went to, I went to prison as a kid. I thought I was, it was 94. So I, was, I was 20. Anyway, make a long story short. I was a kid, but I was making money because I always had the money magnet type of thing. Like, I just always... Attracted money to my life. That was just, you know, I was, I'm into prosperity. I'm a child of the Most High God. He says, "Him, why would you ask for bread and he would give you a stone?" I always asked for money, so you always gave me money. Now, it was certain ways that you go about getting it that wasn't right. However, this is the transformation because those that are last shall be first, and those that are first shall be last. All things work together for the good of those that love the Lord and is called according to His purpose. And amen. Shout out to the church people that need to lose weight this Christmas. Don't be playing. Don't be saying God loves me how he is and this and that. That's true. But he also gave you a position. And he said this. That you're supposed to keep his temple holy. Blameless. You know what I mean? And treat it right. All right. You only get one temple. You don't get a whole bunch of temples, yo. All right. And it's God's. He's just loaning it to you. So take care of it. It's the thing called the body. All right. Now. Um, who calling from Kentucky? Somebody's calling from Kentucky in the middle of the show. However, we're going to let that rain. Case, uh, um, um, uh, Conor McGregor, 
Conor McGregor won this weekend. They ran up on him, and, and he said this about Floyd Mayweather. I got terms. So we're going to see if Con Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather fight. I don't think it's going to happen because Conor McGregor is a mixed martial artist and Floyd Mayweather is a boxer. So that means that Conor McGregor will only be able to use his boxing skills. And he will get the brakes <laughs> beat off of him. If Conor McGregor, and, I, and listen to me, listen to me carefully when I say this, y'all. Hold on, let me fix this. Listen to me carefully. I, I, I'm going on record to say this now. This ain't got nothing to do with Black Lives Matter or none of that. <laughs> Can you hear me? It, am I good still? Okay. If Conor McGregor fights Floyd Mayweather, he's going to get the brakes beat off of him. I Floyd, listen to me. This your man. Check it out. Fight him. He got these crazy terms. You can't do this. You can't. Fuck his terms, man. Let him have whatever term he want. And here we go. To the, and, and, and Connor, listen. If you listening to, I ain't got nothing against you, bro. But I know for a fact, I will put a million dollars up against you and Floyd Mayweather. And I guarantee you, Floyd will beat the brakes off of you. Beat the brakes off of you. Now, if it was a mixed martial arts fight... Mayweather wouldn't have a chance. Not in the world. It's like going against a goddamn, uh, it's like a, a lion going against a shark in the ocean. I don't give a shit how powerful you are and how strong and king of the jungle you are. You're in the ocean, motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a big difference. It's a huge difference. All right? So anyway, I'm taking, I, I, I'm taking uh, Floyd if they fight boxing, traditional boxing. Of course, I'm taking Floyd if he has to fight anybody boxing. That's in his division anywhere in the world. Not just Conor McGregor. Anybody. I don't give a fuck who it is. Floyd Mayweather can beat him. If he got one more fight in him, I guarantee you he can beat him. I fucking never lost. Uh, did y'all see Clay Aikens drinking the beer? At the, uh, at the, uh, I didn't know that they could do this in the NBA. He in the press conference like, yeah, they put me on the line too much. And, uh, you know, I'm like, damn, they're sitting there drinking a beer. You know next. They going to be smoking a joint after the game. You know what I mean? You can think about it. Shit, beer is legal. Weed is legal. I don't see why you wouldn't. Bring your ass out here to the forum. And, I mean, not the forum. The, the Staples Center. Damn, you know, I said that. If I'm thinking the forum back then, I bet you probably could <laughs> roll up a joint and blaze. Just blaze. But, yeah, pretty soon they're going to be doing that. I, I mean, I don't see why they wouldn't. Uh, who else here? Uh, Ludacris got a chicken restaurant. <laughs> chicken and beer. Did you know that, Porges? Hey, I'm just reporting the news. You know, everybody got their own issues. Uh, speaking of uh, Golden State, Durant said he don't give a damn about no Drake night. They asking, they interviewing Durant and Durant like, yeah, man, so what do you think about Drake night up here in Golden State? Now, I'm thinking, how the hell Drake get a Drake night up in Golden State? That don't even. Durant looked at the dude and said, E40. Yeah, can't, we can't get an E40 night up there before Drake? Can we get a Tupac night up there before Drake? God, for Christ's sake. Gee, I even take a digital underground night before. God damn. Gee whiz. Can I get a, a rap and forte night or something? Gee, come on now. What's my man name, though? What's my man that. that not too short. Too, give me a Take a too short night up there. God damn. What's my man that deceased though? Oh, Mac Dre. Can we get a Mac Dre night, please? D. Drake even said that. Can we do it for the homie Mac Dre? Gee whiz. Man, I Drake get a Drake night in goddamn oh. Oakland. Really? Durant said, I don't give a damn about no Drake night and walked off and was serious. I guess Drake, Drake, he was giving an interview. Drake walked past and said something. Yada, yada, yada. And Durant looked at him like, you know, Durant, he don't, he don't like motherfuckers. I don't know about Durant. He a beast. He don't like people. He, he, and when people say so, I remember when he went off on uh, uh, Stephen Smith. Stephen Smith was trying to say something to him. Durant said, man, I don't even know you. Nigga. I don't even know you. That's what he said, too. I don't even know this nigga. I don't know nobody in my camp know him. Did nobody talk to him? I don't know what the fuck he talking about. This is how he said it. I'm like, damn, this is getting Durant. 
Either one of them, Durant ain't gonna bust a uh, great with a sledgehammer. He only like, that, that's, that's gonna be the ones. Them the ones that's gonna bust first. <laughs> he said, Durant said, man, I don't give a damn about no Drake night. Then walked off like, this is my stadium now. You know what I mean? They just gave me a $100 million contract around this joint. You know what I mean? What you talking about? That was cool, though. I like that because he did that on his court. Man, I'm a mucker. You in my house talking about another man. Get out of my motherfucker. I don't give a damn. This is my house. That's what he said. All right, Durant, that was a good one. I like that. All right. Nick Cannon got a baby on the way. <laughs> he looked at me like, hey, I'm just saying. He got a baby on the way. He was on the talk show with uh, with uh, Charlemagne the God. and them. Why everybody want to slap the shit out of Charlemagne is all I want to know. Charlemagne, you all right. You keep doing what you're doing, man. But one of these days... <laughs> One of these days, man, they're going to they they catch you like the boys caught you that one time. He took off. Pew! Did you see that one? You didn't see what the dudes hey, walked up on Charlamagne and said, hey, man, can we get some uh, can we get some airtime or some shit? And try to take off on him. Charlamagne dished the two-piece. Whoop, whoop. And took off. <laughs> yeah, every time somebody go on the show, that's all they talk about. Well, you seen you running from them old heads. Uh, all right. Ladies, I know y'all love this. It is gray sweat season. I heard about the gray sweat season uh, thing going on, y'all ladies. Uh, it is gray sweatpants season, and I heard that the ladies like the gray sweatpants. So I got my gray sweatpants on, y'all. Be careful. Uh, what's this? Three teams ain't staying in Trump Towers no more. I forget two of them. I know one of them is the Mavericks, and the other one is uh, the Bucks, Milwaukee Bucks, the Dallas Mavericks, and the, uh, I want to say the Chicago uh, uh, Bulls. I want to say that. But don't quote me, boy, because I ain't said shit. <laughs> I'm just saying that's what, that's what it was. All right. Black Guns Matter. Listen, Black Guns Matter. We got a Black Guns Matter movement. Uh, I'm just announcing this. I ain't a part of this shit. I'm just announcing it. So I don't think I'm going to be out there with my heat trying to. I'm just helping the black community to be able to protect yourself when it's time to protect yourself. All right. Black Guns Matter in Compton. Free safety. Uh, wait, wait. Free firearm safety and training. Uh, December 2nd, 630 to 9 p.m. Um, it's at. Let me see. Uh, this is what they're going to be talking. They're going to give you uh, free firearm safety demos. They're going to uh, tell you about the California gun rights and laws. They're going to tell you about the Second Amendment, question and answers. And then you got refreshment and networking. So, you know, you can you can figure all that all that out. All right? It's uh, Evan Security Training Academy and Range. Uh, 1457 West El Segundo Boulevard, Compton, California, 90222. 222 is the lucky numbers, y'all. I didn't even know yet. Did y'all know in the comp it was 90222? I never knew that. But now I know. All right. So y'all go check that out. If y'all black or white or whatever you are, if you just don't want to, you know, if you want to know your get gun uh, uh, safety, gun safety laws. All right. Because proper, uh, pr uh, proper, pepper, pop, blah, blah, blah. there's a tongue, tongue twister. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. You got that? Okay, good. Two chains is donating uh, proceeds from his clothing line to help homeless veterans. Two chains. Shout out to two chains. All right. Um, <clears throat> next week, I need y'all to call in with your the crazy with your craziest Thanksgiving stories. All right. I don't really remember. I just know that all our Thanksgivings we had a big family, so all our Thanksgivings always ended up with. Somebody getting drunk and cussing another person out and then the whole family just go berserk. You know what I mean? And, and choose sides and then you find out whose side. It's become the civil war in the family. What's your craziest Thanksgiving story? So many of them, huh? You ain't got none? All right. Well, <clears throat> Alabama County elected nine black women to become judges, y'all. Alabama County elected nine black women to become judges, y'all. Did y'all know that? All right. Shout out to y'all sisters. Y'all work it out. All right. Um, the Rock. All right, ladies. This for y'all. This for y'all. The Rock got, got uh, nominated for Sexiest Man of the Year from, uh, I don't know what goddamn magazine it was, but obviously they like the light-skinned dudes. You know what I mean? Drake started that shit. Now, now that's the second two years in a row now. With brothers, we got to get back. 
So they gave it to The Rock, all right? Uh, makeup artist uh, tours hospitals and give cancer uh, patients free makeovers. That's a pretty good charitable thing, y'all. Y'all should try that. A lot of makeup artists and uh, uh, hairstylists and things like that. Go to the hospital, put some wigs or something on the kids or something like that. Let the kids wear the wig. Let the, you know, let, the, you know, I don't understand these, the other, you know, just go help. You know, help, help that way, all right? Uh, what else happening here? Uh, Mary J., Mary J uh, got c cut off. Uh, wait, wait, what she do? Mary J cut it off with Kendu because he was messing around with the artist. Kendu! What the fuck wrong with you, bruh? Bruh! <laughs> Real love! Come on, man! What? Messing around with the artist. I mean, dude is butt ass ugly, yo. I mean, he, should, he shouldn't he should even be. Like, you should be completely. I mean, just be content, dude. You're not even a dude, man. You're not the dude that can be fly. Like if you was if you wasn't with Mary J, you 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 can walk past any woman. She wouldn't even know. She wouldn't even pay you. I don't know how Mary J. I, was Mary on them drugs back then, or was she just getting off, or what? I, I don't know. Cause I met Mary one time. She didn't seem like she was on drugs. But looking at this motherfucker, I don't know what she was on, Mary. All right, <clears throat> Hove getting sued by Prince. <laughs> Not the real actual prince, but his estate. Everybody got an estate. You know what I mean? Uh, he getting sued by his estate because uh, they start playing his music without his permission. You know, Prince didn't play about his bread. For real. He wrote slave on his face. He ain't, just don't play with my money. I'm a slave. Woo! I'm telling you. Donald Trump gonna start making y'all wear that on your... <laughs> slave! Uh, let me ask you something. Hold on. This just in. Woman attempts to extort NFL player Von, Mil Von Miller out of millions for sex tape. Y'all know who Von Miller is. He played for the uh, Denver Broncos. I think he got the MVP last year. I think. I'm not for sure. I know he played a good game. But if y'all know him, y'all look him up. Von Miller it's real thick glasses, dude. You can't miss him. So I guess he's getting extorted um, from some chick, probably a waitress that... You know, he met one night and co-beat her. Um, <clears throat> is that a, can you say co-beat her? <laughs> you know, Kobe, when she came to the door with that pizza when he was in Denver, remember? She was like, the, the pizza delivery. Kobe was like, get in here. Bitch. <laughs> Come here. You know what I mean? Um, the police officer responsible for the death of Philando Castillo faces manslaughter charges. Great. Finally, some good news. Sheesh. The man says, show, give me your wallet. He says, okay. Reaches for his wallet and dude shoots him. That was kind of like a setup. That really wasn't manslaughter. That, I think that was kind of premeditated if you ask me. Hey, I could see him in the corner now. Hey, pull him over. They got dreads. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to ask him for his wallet. He's going to reach and I'm going to blow him away. That's not manslaughter. That's premeditated murder. So they're bringing him up on man, uh, man uh, slaughter charges. All right. Uh, Michael Jordan, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Diana Ross, Cicely Tyson to receive Presidential Medal of Freedom. All right. I'm with that. I'm not with the Michael Jordan. However, I love Michael Jordan's shoes. I ain't going to never stop wearing the shoes. I don't give a shit what y'all boycott, whatever, whatever. Only because I'm flat-footed, y'all. And he make a lot of shoes that deal with flat-footed people, man. I don't have no arch in my foot. You know what I mean? I don't run over mountains and all that. I go straight for the turf. But other than that, you, you kind of whack my butt. However, <clears throat> I'm with you. Are you saying because what? What? Why are you not? Why does Mike not deserve it? Why does he not deserve what? I don't, I just don't, um, you know what? Maybe he do deserve it because you know what? Maybe he do a, he do a lot that people just don't know about. Oh, you're saying he doesn't give back. I don't think that he don't give back and it ain't that because I don't, we don't know what he gives back. We, we don't know. I just know he don't say shit, but I guess that's how you got to do when you become a billionaire and a black man. You just fall back and count your money. And a lot of people want Mike to speak up. and See, see my only problem with Mike was when he gave the, the police department a million dollars and he gave the the uh, the other people, the, the 
Black Lives Matter. Nah, hell no. Nah. He ain't getting no damn Black Lives Matter a million dollars. He gave up. Boy, if he'd have gave Black Lives Matter a million dollars, Black Lives Matter would be on right now. <laughs> Yeah, but not like that though. He may they may get a couple thousand here, a couple thousand. You talking about celebrities? You got celebrities that ain't even giving millions. Check they check the account. It's all it's all legal. It's all it should it should be all uh, you know listed. If it's an I don't know if it's a nonprofit or not. I just know that this Black Life Matter. Period. Shit. <laughs> so if you run up on me saying Black Lives Matter, you goddamn right. This one do. No, I don't know. What, you can just jump over there across the street. I don't know. But this cat right here, yeah, this Black Lives Matter. You can believe that. Um, <clears throat> um, I like Kareem because, you know, he smoked Kush. Uh, you know, Cicely Tyson, Diana Ross. I mean, what more do you say? I mean, I mean, what more could you say? <laughs> Um, LeBron James donated $2.5 million to the Muhammad Ali exhibit at the Smithsonian. I don't know why. Am I wrong? All I want to know is am I wrong? You know what I mean? That's $2.5 million could have went somewhere else. But then again, I can't tell you how to spend your money. But if you're spending money like that to the Smithsonian, you know how much goddamn money the Smithsonian got in it? I mean, literally, man. Literally. You could have sent that to Flint. How about that? How about that? I don't see how you still people can say that, yo, we still got a, it's still a problem like that in Flint. And you donating and, and money like that. Speaking of Flint, uh, Detroit reporter Lauren uh, Podell resigns after allegedly telling coworkers she's tired of reporting all these niggas killing one another. <laughs> this is what she said, y'all. True story. White lady says this. This is what she said. Uh, did you hear about the lady who called Michelle Obama a uh, 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 ape? The mayor. This is the mayor. I'm glad I'm tired of looking at this ape. Hey, my thing is like this, man. I don't, you know, racism is, it, it's a lie. However, the mayor? She. Yeah, well. Trump in there, y'all, so get with it, all right? I got to go to a break. I'm coming back, though. I got some more stuff to tell y'all, all right? But bear with me. It don't matter. We started from the bottom, now we're here. Let me know when I'm back on. Started from the... Hey! hey! What's the science, yo? I am to make... This is to make... Okay, so I don't need these then, right? Okay. Great. Now, before I left, y'all, I was talking about... um. Uh, I was talking about what I was talking about, but I'm back, so I'm talking about something else. <laughs> that was uh, that was your boy Drake had Drake Dake up there, Drake uh, Day up there. Um, all right, uh, I'm a, now this is what we're talking about, y'all. We're talking about l -l 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 -l. the winter workout, y'all. I got seven, I got seven winter workouts. I also got. Oh, this is gonna get good today, y'all. Watch this. I also got um. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, y'all. Please. No. All right. I got to go here. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. I got to go here. Okay. So we're talking about... <clears throat> Seven ways to stay active during your winter <clears throat> during your winter workouts. All right, eight ways to avoid a uh, winter workout rut. It is the winter, y'all. So a lot of people don't have the luxury of having a, a California where you can go outside running and and just go to the mountains, you hike in and and go to the uh, the ocean for swim. You know, it's, it's just so many different ways of, uh, <clears throat> of having a winter workout. However, a lot of places don't have that. All right. So um, I'm talking about seven ways to stay active this winter. This is what I'm talking about today, y'all. All right. So we don't get it. So we don't get it confused here. <clears throat> so we don't get it confused here. I'm talking about. Um, seven ways to boost your workout, uh, seven ways to boost your weight loss. All right. Seven ways to boost your weight uh, weight loss this winter. 
uh, 10 ways to lose weight and improve your self-esteem. Now, mind you, this is my th list of things to tell y'all about today. However, if I don't get to all of this shit, y'all got to chime back in. I got 26 ways to avoid getting sick this winter. Psh, come on, man. 26 ways. I got seven ways, uh, seven smart ways to stay active this winter. I got um, uh, eight ways to avoid a winter workout. Oh, I said that, a winter workout run, and 10 ways to lose weight and improve your self esteem. Now, what I'm going to do is run this one first 10 ways to lose weight and improve your self esteem. Because keep in mind, a lot of times, don't, a lot of times people don't lose weight because they have low self-esteem. And then when they start losing weight, you got some people will say, why are you losing so much weight? Or you starting to look sick or, you know, whatever type of negative energy that normally works to lower your self-esteem, it's going to work every time. Keep that in mind. All right. If I punch you in your stomach and you say, ouch, I'm not going to punch you in your leg the next time. I'm going to punch you where I heard you say, ouch, at the last time. That's the target. All right. So don't pay attention to that. Here we go. So we're talking about 10 ways to improve your self-esteem, though. And here's, uh, here's, uh, here's the first way. All right. Convert negative thoughts to positive ones. I just said that. See? Look at that. Tell me I ain't good. Tell me I ain't good. Pay attention to the logo, y'all. Convert negative thoughts to positive thoughts. Now, I say that to say this. A person don't know you and he just walk up to you and they just walk up to you and say, you fat. You are really just this or you that. I consider that wrong. However, I'm going to call you fat. But guess what? I'm not going to go to you. If I'm going to call you fat, it's because you're listening to me. Either you subscribed or you tuned in or you're listening to one of my shows or you're listening on Facebook or you're, wherever you're doing. You came to me. I get that a lot. A lot of times when I post things on Facebook, I get a lot of people that come on and say, hey, why you say this or why you say that? Why you just say straight? Keep in mind, I ain't on nobody else post comment and nothing. This is all my shit. So here's the thing. If you don't like what I'm saying... By all means, there is 7 billion motherfuckers on the earth to who you can listen to. And they may say everything you want to hear. So you can't say anything to me. However, when you got people that's around you that won't say anything to you and they see you getting obese and they see you getting, uh, you know, being more and more unhealthy. Guess what? <clears throat> Cut it. You need to cut it because guess what? It's only going to make you worse. However, you got family members and, you know, you got, you know, a lot of people, you know, they gain weight for whatever reason they have, for whatever reason. This is transformation time, y'all. Everybody's transformation. Transformation should be happening now. Number two, don't don't linger in the past. Don't linger in the past. This is what helps you in, the, in, in, in having low self-esteem, y'all, with your weight. Loss. Stay out the past. No matter what you look like now. Keep going to the future, all right? Don't look in the past, because guess what? You still won. You still won. Never mind what, what, what you lost, you still won. You know how I know? Because if now, you still here. Think about it. Turn now around. Spells one. Okay, now, um, it said don't linger in the past. The past is the past. It's time to move on, as they always say. You may have the biggest butt in high school or your classmates make fun of you. Never let the past experience pull you down or be in, uh, instead it should motivate you. Now, leave the past in the past, y'all. That's why it's called the past. All right. You got to pay attention, y'all. It's everything. It, everything is right here in front of us. All right. If it's a past, there's a future. If there's an in, there's an out. If there's a seen, there's an unseen. If there's an up, there's a down. If there's a push, there's a pull. You got to pay attention to everything. All right? Number three, forgive yourself. This is, this is, this is ways to increase your self-esteem. Forgive yourself. Uh, it 
It says, go easy on yourself because you are you are a work in progress. Go easy on yourself. Forgive yourself. Go easy on yourself. You have to know that losing weight healthy is a gradual process. From a pound of burger to a half a pound to a quarter pound until you are satisfied eating until you're satisfied eating a healthy salad. Ah. See, I never looked at it like that. OK, but try it that way, y'all. Instead of saying, you know what? My trainer told me I got to quit eating all this and eating all that. And you know you can't do it. But here's the deal. If you know you can't stay away from it and you know that you're going to do it anyway, just eat half of it. Throw the other half away. If it got to be a craving or this or that, eat it. Give it away. Throw it away. Do whatever you're going to do with it. But don't eat it. Eat, eat the half you're going to eat. Throw the rest of it away. It's so you're a work in progress. Start if you're eating quarter pounders. You start with take a, take some off of that until you get down to this until you get down to this, just take off little bits of it at a time. You didn't just wake up one day and was 100 pounds overweight. You gradually put it on. You know, some people put it on faster than others. Um, number five. Keep track of your progress. Now, these ain't, I call these scale. I call these scale warriors. Don't be a scale warrior. You know what I mean? You, you worked out yesterday and you, you, you try to hurry up and go to sleep and wake up to see how much weight you lost. You might have gained some weight. It might have just been water weight, though. You know what I mean? Don't be a scale warrior. Just look at, your process, look at your progress in the mirror because you'll know one thing about water. It comes and it goes. It comes and it goes. It's, it's, especially, different, it's especially difficult for women, especially women over 40 that's working out. They maintain water, water retention like crazy. All right. Um, number six, praise your progress. God damn it. Hey, you lose a pound. Woo. You better act like it's 10. Act like it's 10 because it'll become 10. Praise your progress. Praise it. If you notice you've lost a pound, give yourself a pat on the back and say, I did that. I did that. Then it'd be two pounds. Then it'd be three pounds. Then you go so and on and on and on. I suggest to the male and female species that's doing this. Every time you go, you have a workout, get you a jar. All right? Get you a little jar, a little money jar or something. And every time you work out, whether it be at home or you go to the gym or you it's outside, wherever it is, put five dollars in that jar. I mean, put five dollars every time you work out. If you ain't got five, put two. Put three, put a dollar, whatever you want to do. Put money in there for every single time you work out. All right. And at the end of that month <clears throat> or at the end of two months, you take that money, and you go buy your new outfit that you can fit that you didn't couldn't fit before. And then you keep doing that until you keep going down your sizes until you get to the size that you want. But keep in mind. This is this is going to elevate your workout because now you're motivated and now you start to say, you know what, this month, every time I work out, I'm going to put $10 in there. And next month, this month, you know, next you're putting 20. Now you're going to save money. You don't lost weight. You're looking good. You're going to get new gear. You're doing it all at one stop, baby. That's the code. All right. Pay attention, y'all. Um, let's see. Uh, number seven, compliment yourself regularly. Now, I don't mean get on Facebook with your pictures and, and, and everything is a headshot because you got you a new weave. You got you a new hairdo. You got a, whoa, I'm a work in progress. God ain't done with me. Oh, I'm just, okay, that's cool. But transformation. Do your transformation pictures. No one cares about your new hairstyle when you got new pounds. Oof. That was that that hurt right there, right? Right? You got a new hairstyle, but you also got 10 new pounds. Ugh. Listen, man. Email me fast. Do whatever you want to do. I don't care. I know that won't hurt. I know it hurt. But that's okay. I'm trying to help you, not hurt you. All right. Compliment yourself regularly. Number eight, treat yourself. Treat yourself. It says, you have been eating less. Then you usually do and completed your workout routine for the week. Aside from complimenting your progress, you should also treat yourself. You can treat yourself with a day in the spa, a new dress that you've been eyeing for months, or even a bite size or your favorite chocolate dessert. Or even a bite size of your favorite chocolate dessert. 
Bite size, y'all. Don't over fucking, don't overdo it. All right, come on. Nah, you know you know what the people are saying. Don't make a mockery, yo. Gluttony is a sin. All right, if y'all still believe in that. All right, number nine. Have a BFF nearby or someone who can motivate you. Hey, stop being comfortable with just having a bunch of fat friends. All right, because then you're mad at everybody. I see it a lot. I mean, I see the obese girls over here and I see the girls that's in shape that literally work out. You can tell they go to the gym every fucking day. And then you got these girls over here that they don't, they, they, it's 12 o'clock at night in the club and they got plates of fried chicken and this and that and all this other shit. And they mad at them over here who ain't, who ain't did nothing but came to enjoy themselves, right? Don't do that, y'all. Stop doing that. You look, you don't look good. But this will say, congratulating yourself can keep you motivated. But hearing somebody else's compliments can greatly boost your self-esteem. However, y'all, you want to hear it. You don't want to, like, I see this a lot. I see a lot of big, big women motivate other big women to continue to be big women. Now, in a second. A big woman comes into that same group or that same platform in that same form and say, yo, I want to make a change. I want to make a different thing. Guess what? You're already outcast, so you might as well do it anyway. If you're worried about what people are going to say because you're trying to change your lifestyle, you might as well do it anyway because they're going to say what they're going to say anyway. I said it uh, time and time again. Being fat is, is hard work. Being healthy is hard work. Choose your hard work. I choose healthy, y'all. All right. Number 10, be a happy person. No matter what, y'all. If you're happy carrying an extra 100 pounds around, that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. But be happy for you. Don't motivate other people to, to, to be that. Person say, you know what, man? I'm really tired of losing. I'm really tired of, of being unhealthy. I really need to lose some weight. Don't be the one that's like, man, forget that. Just, pfft. man, man, live. You only live once. Eat, you know, eat, be happy. Come on, man. These are things that you've accepted. All right? If, you, if you've accepted something that people shouldn't accept, don't try to make them accept that shit. For real, yo. I mean, it's like a, it's like a, uh, a, a, a child pornographer dude or something walking up to me like, yo, man, Look what you think about shorty over there. That's that's five. Man, I'm gonna sock you so hard in your mouth. Straight up. Don't I don't give a fuck if that's your sickness, dude. Don't bring that shit over here to me. Think about this for a second, y'all. Yo, that's because we you gotta understand obesity is a sickness. But a lot of it is self-serving sickness. Like this is something that could be cre this is something that it's sort of like poverty. Poverty is man-made. So only man's gonna be able to take it away. God don't make poverty. If he did, he wouldn't be God. Yeah, does that make sense to you? All right. So anyway, number 10 says, depressed persons tend to eat more and don't have the drive to exercise, causing them to gain even more weight and eventually become obese. This is the thing, y'all. Be happy. Let me read this again. Depressed persons. Persons tend to eat more and don't have the drive to exercise, causing them to gain even more weight and eventually becoming obese. On the other hand, happy persons have all the energy to work out and to think before they eat. Thus, they are learned and healthier, leaner and healthier. By simply staying happy, you get to project a positive aura, causing people to compliment you. Thus boosting your self-esteem and your desire to look better. All right. Now, that's dope. When I come back, I'm going to tell you about the winter workouts. Right now, I'm going to have you some hot chocolate. You got the hot chocolate over there, duh. Paul, what you got, coffee? Oatmeal. Oatmeal? Oatmeal. Did y'all eat your oatmeal this morning? Eat your oatmeal, y'all. Hey, Jumbo Juice got some good oatmeal. Shout out to Jumbo Juice. Y'all all right? Y'all all right? For real. Y'all make me step in the name of love. Said I know. DJ Wayne Williams. Spinning the records. Make sure you spin this one, baby. All right. And last but not least, let's not forget the most talented man in the world. Ha ha ha. Yo. 
What's the science, yo? I am the maker. This is the maker code. You are live on Moore's Media Live. We talking about the winter workouts. We talking about uh the things that help you give good self esteem. I'm chilling. I got poetess in the building. Uh, me, she about it. The coolest breeze you gonna ever see blow through. You know what I mean? And check this out. Um, <clears throat> we talking about uh, we talking about now we talking about the uh, 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 winter workouts, all right? And uh, you know some that some things that don't get you in the rut this winter because people is always looking for a damn excuse to not work out, all right? Now, before we, before we, uh, before I finish that, though, I'm going to chime in because I'm going to tell you about my alkaline, y'all. Um, it keeps you alkalized and keeps you lean. That's what it says on the bottle anyway, y'all, and that's exactly what it does. But uh, I'm going to give y'all 10, ten uh, amazing facts about, um, that you probably didn't know about alkaline water real quick because this is a commercial this, this is my alkaline commercial to help y'all real quick so y'all can run out and buy y'all some alkaline water today all right now t- now I'm gonna suggest that y'all pre-order yours right now on www.tomakeacode.com and I'll have it to you before Thanksgiving all right that's my word all right believe it um, alkaline water neutralizes the acid buildup in our bodies I'm just gonna give you a quick analysis real quick now um, thus, balancing out our pH levels in our bodies, acid buildup <clears throat> uh, acid buildup has many causes, including unbalanced diet, lack of as- a- um, exercising, smoking, and lifestyle factors. When our pH levels are balanced, we feel more energetic and can live fuller lives. So believe it or not, y'all, when you drink alkaline water, it gives you more energy. All right? True story. And if you don't believe me, Try it. You'll be thinking, yo, I'm just drinking regular water. But keep in mind, regular water is 7.3, uh, 7.35, which is the same uh, pH as your blood. And the more you cook your food, the more acidic your body becomes. So it brings your pH down. So it don't give you the best feeling that you could possibly have. All right? Alkaline is basically, uh, you got unleaded, premium, and then you got super unleaded. Right? I think it's something like that, right? But alkaline is go from unleaded to quadruple unleaded to damn it kryptonite to Martian unleaded. All right. Okay. Number two, there are different ways to add alkalinity to your body. Did you know that? All right. You can purchase uh, special filters to attach to your faucet. Then you got the um, the bottled water. Then you got the uh, the alkaline machines. So that's three ways you can get it, y'all. All right. Now, this all ions is all it's 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 really all natural. And so you want to be thinking like, yo, it got a different taste or something like that. No, it's just like if you taste yourself alkaline. All right. Uh, Because you got to keep in mind, your body is 80 percent alkaline and 20 percent acid. All right. So that's like uh, blue jeans. Basically tough. You know what I mean? Like you got blue jeans and then because it's almost all cotton, but. You had the stitches and things like that. You had the the, 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 the little metal thing on your, your the button and all that. So there's just certain things that it makes it all go together. Did that make sense? That was a kind of a dope analogy right there, y'all. And that just came from the head. But hey, I tell you, blame God. He's going to keep blessing you with knowledge. All right. Number three, uh, the alkaline diet is popular among nutritionalists. Various doctors and uh, scientists, wellness instructors and celebrities become incorporated, uh, has become incorporated simple lifestyle changes that allow us to be better balanced. All right. I don't know what that fuck they got to do with anything. But anyway, it gets rid of chronic back pain. And y'all, I'm, you, listen, a lot of the things that's in your body, it's because your pH is off. It's because your potential hydrogen level in your body is off, meaning the, the, the most that you can get out of your body. Your potential hydrogen. Whatever you can get the most. uh, People can't get a lot. Especially if we're dealing with obesity now. Keep in mind now. Your body is all acidic. Now the human body is about 80%. Like I said 80% uh, alkaline and 20% acid. However when you're obese. You're like 60% acid. And 40% alkaline. 
And the more obese you become, the more acidic your body is, which makes it more acceptable for you to contain these diseases that comes along with that because you have the free radicals that's just roaming your body. See, the alkaline water kills the free radicals in there so they don't attach the cells to each other. The free radical cell, they're free and they're radical. That means that they will grab this fat cell and they will join that fat cell and they'll bring them together or they'll take this diabetes cell, that uh, cancer cell and this cancer cell and connect them together. They're free radicals in your body. And the more of those that you have in your body, the easier it is for you to attract these diseases. Just the facts, y'all. All right? So don't blame me when you don't know that I told you about free radicals and things like that. All right? Number four, alkaline waters help you heal faster. Did you notice that? If y'all don't notice that, I'm a fast healer. I'm telling you these things that these, these are interesting facts that you didn't know about alkaline water. They help, it helps you heal faster. They got stuff that's called beauty water where it goes up over 11.0 and you can rub it on your skin and have your skin, that's, that's all you need. Um, hey, that's what it's called. Number, uh, where was that? Number oh, it says heals faster. Let me see. The quicker recovery from uh, strenuous activity has been noticeable. So when you work out and you tear down your muscles and you're drinking alkaline water as opposed to regular water, guess what? Your muscles heal faster. Fact. Now you now I, I can see why I literally since I've been training, I'm 205 now. When I first started working out, I was 140 pounds, 147 pounds, right? But I mean, I was I was muscle. That's why I got the build that I got. But now I'm all muscle. Like, that's almost like 70 pounds of muscle. But it took a lot of that. It took a lot of years of consistency. Just like if you're overweight, it's going to take a, a, at, least a, you know, at least a year, depending on how, how bad it is. You know what I mean? Some people's not as bad as they think, so they just kind of stay where they are because they'd rather not take that journey because they know that it's going to be hard work. I mean, you still got to take that journey. Cause I guess what? Because guess what? It's going to get harder. The more weight you gain, the harder your life is going to be. Now, if, I don't, if you don't understand that, I, could, I can't put it in no simpler terms. You don't have to be a goddamn doctor to know that. The more weight you gain, the harder you physically. You may be a damn rocket scientist that's obese. You may be a brain surgeon that's obese. Or doctor. I, I give you that. But physically, physically you're not going to be better, period, point blank. And I don't care who you try to convince that of, all right? Number five, I said number five. No, number five, alkaline water is safe for children. Ah, now we're getting into something, right? Now we're getting into my cold foundation. Hey, for all my people that's rich, that's listening, shout out to y'all all over. I know y'all over there in Dubai and all y'all. Send some money to the cold foundation, y'all. I got my IED on me, and I guarantee you, it'll be a tax write-off. We all good. Remember. It's for the kids. I ain't, ain't gonna do me no good. I would never. I can't steal from kids. That would. That, it does nothing for me. I just have to make sure as a as a funnel that everything that that you know. I'm. I am. I was chosen to overlook, obviously, a legacy that's about to be born. So it wouldn't do no good to do wrong. You only can do right. So donate. All right. Childhood obesity. Uh, Cold Foundation. C O D E. Childhood obesity doesn't exist. You can make a check after that, or just wire to the account. All right. Google it. Number six, uh, 150,000 people. Wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me uh, get back to the kid real quick. Um, as for children, it has no added chemicals. Alkaline is a mineral that will add. Uh, alkaline is a mineral that when added to water increases the overall pH balance. It does not replace any medications you might otherwise be prescribed. So in other words, if you got your kids, if they have to take medications or things like that, it works 100 percent more. I, I would say faster. I could say, could say be more effective, but that's all it's about anyway is how fast does it work? So it works 100 percent more, 100 uh, uh, percent faster than anything. Number seven uh, on number six, um, 150,000 people in the United States have acid reflux. Y'all know what that is? 
You know what that is, Portis? Yeah, but you're constantly, you know, and burping and all type of, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, a lot of people do it because they eat too fast. I'm surprised I ain't got it, you know what I mean? Because I eat like, I eat fast. But now I see why I don't have acid reflux, though, because I've been drinking alkaline water for like 12 years. You know what I mean? So I guess I can up to that because I ain't never, you know. And then it, and plus, you know, of course, it, it cleans your liver, your colon, your spleen. It detoxifies your whole body, your teeth, your eyes, everything. It just replenishes you because the more alkaline you, you know, the more alkaline you have in your body, the healthier you are. All right. Truth. Fact. All right. Number seven. The water has been shown. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I'm sorry. I, I skipped number six. I skipped number six. Number six. 150,000 people in the uh, in, uh, United States have acid reflux, which can manifest itself in heartburn or burning in the esophagus, as well as asthma and asthma-related symptoms. Alkaline water has dramatically improved these symptoms for many people and doctors suggesting it more frequently to their patients. Listen, y'all, I know people that's been cured of cancer from it. If you don't believe me, Google alkaline water testimonials and you'll see. And you'll be like, damn, well, this is where, this is, this is what it is. Because this, it's all the human body. It's all in your DNA. That's what I'm trying to help y'all with. Your DNA code. This is why this is the Domega code. It's all in your DNA. Your anatomy means a note to me. A nat to me. A note to me. Everything in you stands for something. If not, guess what? You flatten the grave. You're not, you're standing, you're on the move, you, you know, I mean, minus the people who really can't stand, but still, you're doing something, all right? Now, um, number seven, alkaline water has been shown to not only help people feel great, but it also, uh, but also help them age slower. Mm, now we're talking about something. Now we're getting into the Benjamin Button. Now we, now we getting into the hands of time here. Now we're getting into the fountain of youth. Ooh, 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 ooh. Guess what? I found it for y'all. The fountain of youth right here in alkaline water. Believe it or not. But listen to what it say though. Alkaline water has been shown to not only help people feel great, but also help them age slower by supporting the body's immune system. Through balancing the pH levels, alkaline water detoxes the body of mainly harmful chemicals and acid buildup. Come on, y'all, listen. She, maybe y'all maybe want to drink some alkaline water right now. Do you see? I believe me when I tell you it's gonna be more. It's gonna be more helpful than harmful. You know what I mean? If you harmed by this, it's just something that you know. It's something that's wrong with your body. Period. You know, everybody. You know, body is different. However, mm, uh, mm, I'm gonna drink mine. I'm gonna drink. I'm gonna drink alkaline water. Period. And I suggest that y'all drink it too. So that's the, the. Those are some of the benefits, y'all. All right. Um. Oh yeah, we gonna have, okay. Well, so we only got ten minutes, y'all. We only got ten minutes. I'm gonna run. The, let me run this. Let me run this next level to y'all. Then, watch this <clears throat> before we get out of here, because I'm gonna have to get out of here. But listen, be, before we got here, listen. These are. Uh, I'm gonna tell you uh, seven ways to stay active this winter. All right. Um, seven ways. Seven ways to stay. What, let me see. Let me let me do a survey real quick. Which one do y'all want to hear about? Hold on. Hold on, let me see. Let's do a survey. We can do uh, seven ways to stay active this winter or eight ways to avoid a winter workout rut. Poetess, you get to pick. Seven ways to stay active this winter or eight ways to avoid a winter workout rut. Let's say it again. Seven ways to stay active. This <laughs> yeah, I'm asking you. Which one, which one do you want to hear about? Seven ways to stay active this winter or uh, eight ways to avoid a winter workout rut? That's the thing. No, it ain't. Repeat. 
<laughs> seven ways to stay active this winter or eight ways to avoid a winter workout rut. I guess it is kind of this, <laughs> just word it different, right? Just put it in a different scenario, right? Okay, let's stay out of the rut then. All right, here we go, people. Da -da 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 -da. We got eight ways to avoid a winter workout rut. That means that, um, let me see. Even for the fittest people out there, training is a constant challenge. And this is the time of year when most people just don't have the drive, answer that, the drive to answer that challenge, opting to more um, sedentary <laughs> lifestyles. Than, the usual, than they usually partake in. All right. Have a look at the list. Here it is. Number one says, embrace the winter cold. Now, I don't like working out in the cold. Be honest with you. Um, but the best part about working out in the cold is it don't stay cold long if you're really working out. <laughs> That's just the bottom line. It's just that initial just shock, just getting, you know, I mean, unless you just come out the house, like just, you know, normally, you know, and it depends on where you are. Some places is really cold, like really, really, really cold. Like the, the further east you go, like we good out here. People, the people that got to work out on, on the east coast would love to have a winner, the winner to work out here on the west coast because it's like, it's like night and day. You know what I mean? Like, literally. Like, you got the sun shining, palm trees. You know what I mean? You got, hey. Like, the cold is just going to get you, you know, during the day when it's time to really run. It's what, about 60 at the most? Something like that, Porters? Right yeah. During the day when people normally run and it's still like 60, 65, something like that. Yeah, you know? So, but when you, when, during the day and it's, it's 10 below, Oh, man, you don't want to do nothing. By the time you throw out at the gym, you ready to, man, your whole, you got to be, it's, it's, a, it's a different mentality. Like, I don't know how it is in the South, though. Like, it's, I, don't, I don't know if it get cold enough to where you can be that just mad because, I mean, you don't want to work out because it's, it's cold. Like, in like Texas and stuff like that, I don't really think it get that, that cold, do it? Then again, I only been through Texas. You ever been to Texas? They get cold down there. It don't snow. Yeah, see, I guess nobody. Minnesota, gets cold. Minnesota, land of a thousand lakes, be cold as shit out there. Woo! I know it. I know. I know it. Uh, uh, number two, hook yourself up with new gear. All right, this is the way to stay out of the winter rut, y'all. Number one, it says embrace the cold. Um, whether you enjoy down here skiing, cross, uh, cross country skiing, ice skating, or just bundling up and going for a run, getting outside will be, uh, invigorating and will provide a great, uh, uh, change of pace. All right. That's what it says. All right. Number two, hook yourself up with new gear. All right. On, on that note, you'll want some new clothes or shoes to help you get outside into or into the gym more often. All right. So that means that by my, uh, my, uh, enforcement gear. I don't know who's going to pick it up yet. You know what I mean? But it's going to be dope. Number three, um, take things slow and steady. Take things slow and steady. All right? This is how you stay, stay out of your, a, a, a winter rut, a rut. Unfortunately, this isn't really the time of the year for half a day's long weekends and vacation. If work is really bog, uh, bogging you down or you, you're really feeling the winter blues, don't worry about it. Sitting alongside continuous, set, uh, set along continuous periods of time of the day for one big workout, all right? So if you don't want to work out all the time, one big workout per week until you want to do more. I just know that once you, once you, once you start going, you know, it's just like anything else. A lot of obese people, when you're dealing with overweight people, they want to see progress today. You got your trainer, you hired your trainer, he trained you for one hour, the next day you get up on the scale and you didn't lose one pound and you are 150 pounds overweight, don't be determined. Don't mean don't be deterred by that. Be determined. Please? Give me some time, yo. All right. Number four, set a big goal. Set a huge, gigantic goal. I'm gonna have all this off in three months. 
Even if you don't, watch the transformation. I don't care what you're doing in three months. If you're doing something consistently, I guarantee you the results is going to be worth looking at. Believe that. Believe it. If you're doing something consistently concerning your body in three months, I guarantee you it's going to be something to look at. All right. Number five, get a workout wingman. Get a workout wingman. Get somebody that's going to be there for you. Have an accountability partner. Hey, you working out today? I ain't working out. You working out today? I'm working out. No, no, no. You don't need that. You need, hey, man, you working out? I really wasn't feeling No, man, come on. We doing it. Hey, girl, you working out today? Oh, I don't know. I'm thinking about going to Taco Tuesday. Hey, come on. Let's go. Stop that shit. That mean? How you can prepare for Taco Tuesday on Monday, but you can't prepare for the gym? <laughs> you know what I mean? Girl, I'm going to Taco Tuesday tomorrow. Well, we'll go to the gym today. So when you go to Taco Tuesday, you know what I mean? Come on, man. I just got you go to Taco Tuesday. You don't have to eat every goddamn taco in the joint. All right. Number, uh, where we at? What was that? How many was that? Oh, number five, number six. How many I got? Eight? Okay. Uh, this is number six. Uh, refresh your workout playlist. Refresh your workout playlist. That's something I ain't did in a while. Your playlist. However, I did go from uh, DMX to uh, Shirley Caesar the other day. I don't know what that one was about on my playlist. <laughs> I went from da 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 to love. But you know, DMX really is a, uh, um, um, he really is super Christian. I mean, I, I will believe him more than I believe the Christians that's in church, to be honest with you. Yeah, that's Dark Man X. He didn't seen it all. I've done it all. So you know what I mean. Okay, number uh, where we at? Uh, okay, refresh your perk out playlist. Number seven. Overhaul your diet. I don't know what that means, so I'm gonna tell it to you as it's told to me. It's a very simple. It's a very simple tip that applies any time of the year. But winter is when most people stay in. Warm up and eat rich food and drink. Hardy beers. Told you about Clay Aker drinking the beer, right? Did we talk about that? Yeah, I think he's drinking the beer during the interview. He just pulled out a beer, y'all, and just start drinking. I can't wait. Like I said, I can't wait for the day to the joints. Because someday they're, they're going to roll up on somebody. They're going to roll up on one of these one of these NBA players one day. That's just TMZ going to roll up on them, and they're going to be sitting in the car rolling up a blunt. <laughs> just gonna roll. They gonna be looking down. The TMZ gonna be like, "Hey, listen." So, uh, and he just gonna be like, "Oh, oh, shit! I might well keep rolling." You got me now. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, and that's what's gonna start it right there. Watch. Mark my words. This is that. That was a prophet. I've just prophesied to y'all. Somebody gonna smoke a blunt live on TMZ. I don't know which athlete it is. I don't know what sport it is. It might be baseball because they they got the most money. However, they don't get hurt the most, so you know. Anyway, um, number eight, try something completely new. Try something completely new this winter, y'all. Try something completely new. According to uh, Darkin, whoever that is, there probably isn't a better time of the year to start doing something form of exercise that you've already avoided for one reason or another. Ah, do the exercises you avoided this summer, this winter. What more could I say, y'all? That's it. We did it. Together. I'm going to see y'all next week before Thanksgiving. Bring some turkey. All right? Don't just be one. And listen, from the best to the worst, keep God first. And all right? All right? Always keep getting closer to your dreams. One love.